Christian. One of the green heat. Number weight. And music. Can you hang? Today we we did uh started out with uh been on rose and basically I always do pyramid up on this also. Start out with 135 pounds, do uh 135 for about 15 to 20 reps using good form. Uh, uh next set is 225 for about uh, 12 to 15 reps. Uh, the next two sets are probably going to be like 315 for uh, about 12 reps uh, on each each one of those. And normally, uh, it all depends. If if I feel good, I may go up to four or five. But after this, I uh, went to one of my favorite exercises. Uh, we call them. Uh, they call it T-bar rows, but we call them like T-bar rows in the in the corner because we do a little bit something different from the standard T-bar row. We just set the bar down in the corner up against the wall and elevate ourselves up on 100 pound plates and, and do them like do them that way. And, and that's where it's it's all free and no pulley or nothing hooked up to it. It's almost like doing uh, dumbbell curls or barbell curls where you're just standing there using all your strength and, and not relying on that pulley to help you go down and come back up. So, it, and, and like I said, this is like one of those old freestyle weights that, uh, of lifting that, you know, I've pretty much been doing all my life. And that's why I, I, I kind of I like staying with these because these are hardcore exercises, which, uh, I mean, if you're doing them, you're doing them yourself. I mean, there's nothing there to help and support you. On this exercise, I start out with, uh, just to get me, since I'm already semi-warmed up, I start out with like three plates. Uh, did uh, did uh, 15 reps uh, for the first set, second set, Went on the way up to uh, six plates, and uh, I think I stayed at uh, 15 reps on this set. Okay, the, on the last couple sets, it's getting a little bit heavier. I uh, put uh, seven plates on there and uh, grooved out 10 hard, very hard reps. And uh, on, the, on the last set here, I'm doing uh, eight, eight, uh, eight plates for uh, uh, eight hard grueling reps, but you know, still my form is good, and I'm I'm still going doing a peak contractions when I go down and and when I come back up. I normally on, on this exercise I'm doing about <coughs> ten to twelve, you know, a little bit easier reps, but like I said, I'm in, in, still kind of in a depleted stage. My body had, hadn't fully recovered, uh, and, and, and it's not fully rested from the grueling trip that I've been on uh, lately. So yep. yeah, I was only able to get eight on this day, where I normally yeah. get at least at least ten to twelve. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, they're not real easy, but I, I, I can get ten to twelve and not have as much problem as I did with doing just eight reps. The next exercise we did uh, just a regular uh, uh, row, uh, rowing exercise, uh, seated rows exercise. And here I always start out <coughs> with uh, about 200 pounds on this one and get uh, uh, at least 15 reps, uh, three sets here. I'm doing like three sets of uh, uh, <coughs> 15 with about 200 pounds, and normally, you know, I may go up to, with, with 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 our whole stack on this. But like I said, I'm still in a depleted state, so I, I just stayed at 200, and and stayed stayed around uh, 12 to 15 reps, and uh, finished that exercise up, and went straight into a uh, pull down behind the neck. Here I'm also doing about 
12 to 15 reps, uh, three sets. Uh, you know, basically what I'm thinking about here is the feel. When I uh, <clears throat> pull down, I just want to feel the muscle contracting in my back. And when I go all the way up, I want to get that full stretch, full stretch on the muscle. And, you know, you may say I'm, I'm trying to stretch it out as far as I can and to get that back as wide as I possibly can. Uh, that'll pretty much do it for back. And basically, uh, next, I go straight into uh, biceps. Uh, there's a myth on my biceps, and people think I work them all the time because you know, they're 23 inches. But it's like one of those body parts that grows wild on, on everybody. And with me, it's always been my arms. No matter how much I work them and no, how much, no matter how less I work them, they're still going to grow and they're still going to be big. But at one, one point in my life, I did get kind of carried away with the uh, bicep because, you know, that's all people will see when you're walking around. All, that, all the time, you, you either got on a, a nice pair of jeans or if you're going to a club, a nice pair of slacks. And your arms are always pretty much uncovered and that's the first thing that people always saw on me. And they always ask me, you know, how you get your arms so big and why your arms so big. And, and the stupidest question I get is, do you work out? But uh, as far as arms go, you know, I don't, I don't train them like five times a week. I don't train them three times a week. I don't train them. I don't even train arms twice a week. If I'm lucky, I train arms once a week now. Arms, I, you know, I start out, did 20 wands, did three sets of 20 wands. Um, you know, here, I'm thinking about the feet contraction. I'm thinking about uh, uh, full concentration of the bicep flexing when I go up and come down. Uh, here, here again, thinking about uh, pumping, pumping my arms up. That's why I do like 21 reps. It's real quick. It's real uh, easy. It's a good uh, exercise for the arms. Because you you working you're getting a good uh, pump on your on on your uh, peaks of your biceps, and you know that's that's the most important part of your bicep the peak. So I normally do like three sets of these, uh, it's 21 reps, seven, seven, and seven, seven on the top, seven on the bottom, and seven full. And my next exercise I go into, you know, it's just pretty much. The old dumbbell curl, seated dumbbell curl, it's been around forever. Uh, it's real simple. You just sitting. I'm, I'm just sitting, just doing uh, the same thing I was doing. I was doing uh, standing, I'm doing peak contraction, uh, trying to feel, feel that muscle as I curl it up there. I'm also concentrating on getting a, a right, real nice round peak on my uh, on the uh, bicep. I'm also uh, try, trying to do slow and very controlled uh, movements on this exercise. Here again, I'm probably doing about, I probably do, I do about uh, 10 to uh, 12 reps uh, on this exercise. And again, you know, with me, uh, I'm not really that concerned about trying to go real heavy here. As you see, I'm doing just 35 pounds. I'm not doing 60, I'm not doing 70. You know, it's not about how much weight I can do or nothing like that. So that's why I'm doing the 35 pounds. That's, part, that's why I'm doing 10 to 12 reps. So once I finish these, these uh, three, <coughs> three uh, sets, I go on to my favorite uh, bicep movement, which I feel build, is the best peak builder in the world and there's nothing else that pretty much compares with it. I exercise on the cable crossover. Instead of crossing over with the cable, I'm just standing there doing curls, uh, uh, bicep curls, just standing there. Uh, as you notice, I'm, as, as I do this, they're real slow and controlled movements. I'm letting the, uh, the weight go all, go all the way uh, to the uh, stack, pretty much, pretty much to the bottom of the stack. I'm fully extending my arms as I go down, and when I come up, I'm pretty much touching my ear or touching the 
side of my head as I come to. So I'm doing full, uh, slow, controlled movements. Doing using, I'm trying to get peak contraction here, and I'm not doing a whole lot of weight either here. I'm only doing about, matter of fact, I'm only doing about 25 pounds. And here again, you know, the myth, you, know, you don't really have to do all that heavy weight if you're doing good, slow, control uh, movements peak con with, with uh, peak contraction. And that's the most important thing here is not doing a lot of heavy weights for, for like six, five reps with bad form. It's doing uh, a nice amount of weight, something that you can c control, at least doing uh, 10 to 12, 12 reps with good slow movement and uh, good uh, contractions. So here again, I'm, I'm just doing uh, three sets with uh, 10, uh, 12 reps. And that'll pretty much do it for me for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> as far as bicep, biceps goes, <laughs> like I said, I really don't do a whole lot. And, and to me, it's, it's just a simple movement. I'm quite sure everybody pretty much have a, has a muscle on them that grows wild and grows very easy. And with me, mine, mine just happened to be bicep, and it just happened to be a muscle that pretty much hangs out there where everybody can see it. So that's probably why you know uh, I'm known uh, for, for for my biceps, and that'll pretty much do it. <laughs>